Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how easy it is to break up parts of your one column layout into multiple sections. Okay, so we're looking at a bunch of one column layouts, and I really do like one column layouts because they encourage simplicity. But sometimes, this is over at the Redbox website, sometimes there's parts of it it seems like a multi column layout, but it's really not. It's just one column, and they've taken various parts and they've split them up into appear like multi columns. Like up here, we have two, and their footer has multiples. So I've got this little one column layout here, and you can grab the link to this demo file, it's in the uh, video description so you can check it out for yourself and I want to show you how easy it is to split up let's try the footer first here the, we'll split the footer up into three sections and maybe the main content to two sections or something like that so I'm over here this is my HTML I created this in a previous video pretty simple HTML just a header a main content and a footer with some simple CSS to control those parts you know we've got a wrapper header main content footer so let's do this I'm going to go to my footer and I'm going to divide this up into three divs. There we go. So now I have three sets of divs inside of my footer. I'm going to head up here and I'm going to create a new rule. This is a descendant selector, which means all divs within my footer. I'm going to go ahead and set their width to 33%. I'm going to set them to float right. Uh, float left let's do that and let's go ahead and set their heights also to about 100 pixels okay and that's only one part of it you can't see these divs because I didn't put any borders or background colors but I am gonna do this this is a little trick here I'm gonna do footer div plus div if you haven't seen that before that's an adjacent selector which means a div that's adjacent to another div in my footer is going to have these characteristics. So, wait a minute, I've got three divs. Yes, but my first div will not be affected by this. My second div is because it's adjacent to the first div, and my third div is is because it's adjacent to the second div. So basically I'm applying a rule to every div in my footer except the first one. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do a border left three picks solid white excellent save this head back over to the old browser and refresh and now you can see how our footer is split up into three sections basically and this doesn't make this a three column layout it's still a one column layout but we just happen to divide the footer up into three sections so of course we have our footer one footer two and footer three save that and there we go so now we have our three footer one column layout now you can do something very similar for up in the main content area so let's try this one and if you're so inclined you should pause the video and give it a shot for yourself there we go a couple divs in the main content in fact I could uh, copy these two rules paste them. Of course we have a different ID so main content main content and of course our width now you might be saying well why not 50% you know let's try 50% let's see what happens and for the height I think I'll do 400 pixels I think that's what I did for the main content before min height 400 let's see what happens with this 50% Hmm, didn't go right, did it? Well, you were, we were a little bit fooled by this because we have to account for the width of the border, okay? So we can't go exactly 50%, but if I did something like 45%, there we go, to get our divider line. But it gets a little bit trickier because you can start to say, well, it's not really centered, is it? No, it is not. So we have a couple options here, and one of them is to use borders as a... If for, for an interior container that could actually work so I could do something like this where get rid of my borders for a second go back to my 50 percent 
And just so you can see that this is working here, I'll take my div that's adjacent to another div and I'll give it a background color of black. There we go. So you just have to decide, well, how important is that border, that white divider line? But clearly we can get our two divs here side by side at 50%. Now, if you truly want a border, then there's a trick I've done in another video. And basically I could put a, a div within a div. Okay, so now I have a div inside of a div. By the way, that's not gonna do anything to my HTML, but for this, div within a div, check this out real quick, we can go to our main content, div, div, that's a div within a div, put a border left, three picks, solid, white. Now we have our white border in there, we could change this, get rid of that background color so it's no longer black, and now we have a look Looks like two columns, but it's really one. And I know I did some pretty tricky stuff in here with the CSS, so take it slow when you try this, okay? Don't go too fast, but with the 50%. And when you're starting off, instead of putting borders to see things, just change those background colors. It'll help your design pop out and you'll start to get a feel for what's going on.